Earlier this month, I was officially diagnosed as autistic. But before that, I actually discovered it because I had done some genetic testing. And a lot of people don't realize that there is a genetic link, obviously, with autism, but there's ways that you can find out online if you're more susceptible to be autistic. I'm, I'm serious, like this is not, there's done a ton of studies on this. So I wanted to explain kind of what I did and what I recommend doing. So the first thing that you wanna do is if you're like neurodivergent, if you are ADHD, if you have autism, if you have ADHD, if you're diagnosed with any of those things, highly recommend you do this. This is not like an observational thing. This is actually using your DNA and your, like basically any mutations that you have. So I'm gonna walk through this. Okay, first, you're going to get a DNA test. I highly recommend Ancestry.com. Um, that's I, I did it in 2014. Um, if you already have an Ancestry uh, result, perfect. All you have to do is go to the settings and request a raw DNA. So that's step two. So you're gonna go and request your raw DNA. It usually comes as a text file. Then the third step is that you're actually gonna upload it to a website called geneticgenie.org. Um, there's a free methylation panel. All you do is you just click upload, you attach that text file, and then it takes about two minutes to upload. It's gonna come across with a result like this. You're gonna see the variance over on this side. If it is green, that means it's normal. If it's yellow, it means it's heterozygous, which means that there's a small change to the uh, gene mutation. Um, and homozygous, means that it's basically really bad. So you can see here, I only have one red one, and that is the MTHFR C677T, which as of a 2023 study, people who have this homozygous condition are 2.44 times more likely to be autistic than the average person. You can look up the research. It has been basically confirmed that if you have this gene mutation, you're more likely to be autistic. This was the first sign for me that I may be autistic. I knew that I was ADHD, but I really, like, again, autism is something that you, that's stereotyped in the media, right? It's like, oh, this is what it looks like. For me, it, it was a little different. And then I started really looking into how it is in women. And then I had an emotional breakdown because I'm like, wait, I'm actually, like, this is it. And my DNA is also telling me. I also have some other ones, like for example, the VDR. That stands for vitamin D receptor. It means that it's, I struggle to get vitamin D. And guess what? I took a blood test. My vitamin D was really, really low. So I've started supplementing. This has been a game changer for me and my health. I brought it to my naturopath. You can bring it to your doctor. Let them know what's going on inside. This was game changing. I did this in June of last year and it has literally changed my life. I have an entire guide on the MTHFR, which you can get here. But I just wanted to share this today because I think it's very important.